Okay, in this video, I've been asked many times about leading of barrels and does powder coated bullets lead your barrels or does uh, the lead bullets lead your barrels? And I'm gonna say if you load your if you load your ammo correctly, it's something that you're really not gonna have to worry about too much. But sometimes you will get some leading in your barrels, and I'm gonna show you a cheap method that I use to what I would call extra scrub my barrels. I don't do this all the time, but every now and then I will scrub my barrels to make sure that they are completely clean. Now I'm not going to take this gun apart, but normally I would take the firearm completely apart before I do what I'm getting ready to show you. Okay, but the first thing that I like to do is I like to take some hoppies, and basically I'm just going to lube up the inside. Now the longer that you let your, your hoppy set in your barrel, the better a job this will do. I take my finger and I basically cut off the forcing cone and I take the hoppies and I pour it right down the barrel. Okay? The barrel is full. It will leak out the backside, so it's just something you're going to have to contend with. And I let it set in there. I try to let it set for a good five minutes or so. Uh, it just depends on your personal preferences. But I, I want to go ahead and I want to to lube up and I want to uh, to get as much of the fouling and as much of the the BS if you can out of the barrel as possible. So I go ahead and I just let it set there for about five minutes. Okay after the five minutes is gone I go ahead and I pour out the hoppies. Yes this does waste a little bit. That hoppies is still inside that barrel still doing its job still working. Okay, then I take my brass brush. You want to get a pretty heavy duty brass brush to do this because it, it's going to be tight. It's going to be really tight. And what I do is I get these, these pure 100% copper scrub brushes. Okay, we'll go ahead and open these up. They have to be the pure 100% copper. It's, it's just what it has to be. Okay, you can stretch them out like this and you can see that they'll start pulling apart and breaking off. You can also cut them if necessary. Okay, but you want to get a few strands of the copper. Okay, there's several ways to do this. I mean, you can, you can put the copper on the outside and force it through, but I always found it's better if I pull it through. So I go ahead and try to push the, push the brush through. Then I take the copper and I feed it around my brush. This is probably going to make for excellent TV. Sometimes you can twirl it and get that copper to stick to that copper brush and feed it through into the copper. So you see how that's feeding through on the brush. That copper is feeding on that brush. Okay, so we're going to put a little more. I just kind of hold it, twirl the brush to get the copper to feed onto the brush. And I can go ahead and I push it into the brush itself. Okay, what this does is it makes the, the brush bigger and thicker now. All right? <laughs> so now we're going to have this, this copper on this brush, this copper brush. It's really going to be tight. Okay, so you're going to have to pull pretty, pretty hard. I hope everybody can see that. We'll try to get a close-up here. Okay, so that copper is now wound on that brush. So you want to make sure your brush is good and tight. And you want to make sure that copper is pushed into the... The bristles of the copper brush itself okay and when you go pulling it see this one here has a little uh, o-ring you want to pull really tight okay okay you might have to do this several times to get that copper to come out of there okay but now that we got it pulled through once we're gonna go ahead and just smash it on all right and this time we're gonna push it through Okay, and then we're going to pull it back through again. This takes some force. It takes some effort. Uh, you have to do it several times sometimes, and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you need to add more copper. Just kind of have to see how it works out for you and your application. Just kind of wrap it on there, squeeze it on there, get that copper brush completely full. Push it in again. And yes, it is, it is hard. There are tools on the market that you can buy 
that'll do this as well. But I just found if you go out and you get this, this cheap, inexpensive, 100% copper scrubbers, you put it on your copper uh, wire brush, you run it through the barrel, you know, four, five, six, seven good times, it'll do an excellent job. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Um, stay tuned. We got a lot of stuff in the works. Uh, we got a lot of stuff that's <laughs> we're working. I mean, it's it's it, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background of this channel right now. Uh, trying to get all the, the ammo uh, pre-prepped, if you will, trying to get the brass prepped. There's just a lot of stuff going on. But I had a lot of people concerned about copper uh, and uh, lead fouling in the barrel. And this is how you would, this is a cheap, inexpensive way to get rid of the lead out of your barrel. All right, guys, appreciate it. Thank you.